Ya Buada. Hit the like button. As soon as you see this, hit the like button. Help a brother out with the algorithm. Let's do this. Get right Mondays, we're back again. Man, my afro is looking very well combed. Just a small observation. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Where we at folks, who's here? Sound off in the comments below if you're here, if you're picking me up loud and clear. Where are you guys watching from? What's up, Jay Smith? What's up, Beef Patty? How are you doing, brother? How are you doing? You guys know how I'm doing. You watch me every day. You ain't gonna ask me how I'm doing. How are you doing? Everybody, let me know where you're watching from. I wanna know if we're global this, this day. Where are you watching from? Which city, which town, which planet? Which multiverse? Rep your ends, man. Where are we representing from? What's going on, Blanche Haywood? We got Beef Patty from Nova Scotia. I hear it's cold up there. Yellow Moon from Seattle, my loyal, loyal moderator, Yellow Moon. I see you with the upgraded membership badge looking lovely. Wish I had a badge. They don't give me one. I see you, Mr. Mondo. Up late, from, up late today, huh? Respect it, man. Thank you so much for joining us today. Mr. Smith from New Jersey. Them Jersey boys. Who else is here? Welcome, everybody, to another live stream of Get Right Mondays, where we're going to talk about weight loss and car chases in my area. <laughs> no, we're not going to talk about that. We got Mo Alpha from Iowa. What's up, Mo? I don't think I've seen your name pop up before. Well, welcome. Mrs. J. Smith, my mistake. Miss J. Smith. Gotcha, gotcha. How's everyone doing today? You let me know. How's your week been? Mondo says, respect, bro. Your face is looking real slim today. I was noticing that today, actually. I was like, this jaw's getting a little bit, getting a little bit chiseled, isn't it? Like this jaw's getting a bit chiseled. Let's go. Tightening up. We've got B squared from California. How's it in how's everything in Cali today? Is it warm? I hope everybody's safe in California. Zero degrees tonight, but it was seven and sunny. Yeah, it's pretty cold here too. You can still kind of see it on the windows. Everyone, welcome to the live stream. Thank you for joining me once again live. You could be doing so many different things with your time, but you're here with us on my channel and I absolutely appreciate it. Discord, I see you. Welcome. How are you, Discord? It's been a while. Hope you're feeling better. Thank you for joining me as well. Everybody, this is a live q and I'm going to talk about how my week's gone, give an update on my weight situation what I've been doing to lose weight. But as we go on, please do ask questions. If there's anything that you want me to clear up or anything you want me to talk about, any particular topics surrounding weight loss and health and fasting, do let me know and I'll do my best to answer over the next hour or so. So let's do this. Thank you everyone for joining. It's good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. By the way, super chats are enabled. I do love me a super chat. Who doesn't? So if you're feeling generous and if you want to support this channel and the growth, please do drop a super chat. Feel free to ask a question as well. But super chats and stickers are available and please do consider becoming a channel member as well because I've got exclusive content just for channel members. And so I see people asking me questions which I've actually answered, but only channel members have got the answer to it, such as what is my actual real job? Exclusive videos and information like that are only available to channel members. So consider becoming a channel member. It's only five bucks. It literally costs less than a tub of Ben and Jerry's. Some of you are probably eating Ben and Jerry's right now and you could have become a channel member <laughs> and got way more value than that tub. So keep consider that. Thank you, Yellow Moon, for posting the merch website as well. If you want one of these big, beautiful Get Right Gang hoodies or t-shirts or mugs, on lots of other things, you can get that from the link there, getrightgang.com. 
lots of big beautiful merch which i designed myself by hand so consider grabbing some merch as well welcome everyone so let's talk about the last week uh you guys must have saw the video today i am now at a new personal low aka percy of 466 point was it 466.9 something like that but 466 pounds so thank you b squared b squared says he's looking good jamal i think so i think this jaw's getting a bit chiseled man what do you think i think he's starting to get a little or is it is it just the light and the shadow maybe i don't know maybe i'm tripping maybe it's just the atmosphere but i feel like the jaw's getting a little bit chiseled and you guys saw me i uh i did a measurement of my waist a lot of you guys ask me all the time to do measurements of my waist and honestly I don't really care to do updates on my waist all the time because the only thing that really matters is the start and the finish when it comes to waist. I don't really need to get consistent updates of my waist. It's going to be what it's going to be. I can update my weight loss and the weight on the scales but when it comes to the waist I'm not just going to keep doing it like every day. It's just too much effort and it doesn't really matter that much because as I lose weight the waist is going to go down and you can see the waist going down anyway. But I thought I looked particularly lean today or yesterday, so I decided to get a waist measurement. And I'm down nine inches on my waist, to my surprise. I didn't think I was going to lose that much already, but nine inches is a lot of waist size to be losing. So I'm pretty pleased with that and lots more to come. I want to get down to a nice trim, maybe 36, 34 inch waist by the time I get to 195 pounds, which I'm going to do. So let's keep pushing, guys. We're on our way. Yellow Moon says, I like the updated waist. I was thinking you're going to need to buy new pants. Well, fortunately, well, unfortunately, the pants I'm wearing and the pants I've been wearing, you guys say pants, we say trousers. But the pants, for your sake, I'll say pants, Miss Seattle over here. The pants I am wearing is pretty much hanging off my backside by this point. But fortunately, I do have lots of old clothes from when I was slimmer before in the past that I can still put on, I never threw them away. So they're a little bit tired looking, a little bit worn out looking, but the most important part is that they fit my backside. <laughs> so I've got some other pants, which I'm starting to wear now. I've got some shorts, which are smaller than the ones I'm wearing now. So it's not too much of an issue. But once I start getting into those really, really low weights, like in the 200s and, the, and close to 195 pounds, then I'm going to have a big problem because I've never been that weight as an adult in my life. The lowest I've been as an adult in my life was 267 pounds. That's the lowest that I ever weighed myself, 267 as an adult. So I don't think I even have any clothes from that weight either. So I'm going to have to buy a whole new wardrobe at least once, but maybe multiple times by the time this is all said and done. So guys, super chats are open if you want to support because I'm going to need it. Oh boy. And feel free to become a member for exclusive content as well or grab yourself a big, beautiful Get Right Gang merch product. So what are you guys saying? Daniel says, I'm on day three of a water fast. Got a long way to go. How long, how long are you trying to fast, my G? How long are you trying to fast? Three days water fast is very, very impressive. I'm curious to know how much weight you lost as well. So do update us on that. And congratulations on three days so far. You're doing great, my dude. Beef Patty says, my largest waist size was 50 inches back, years back. Now I'm 34. Wow. That's awesome, bro. Or ma'am, whichever one. <laughs> Can't tell. But that's very, very good. Congratulations. Get right, gang, man. That's what it's all about. Getting right. So yeah, I lost nine inches on my waist yesterday and I'm feeling good about that. And my new personal low weight of 466, but I've actually only lost three pounds since last week, Monday. You guys see the title of the video. I always now put my weight on every single video title to make it very clear and transparent. I don't want no ambiguity. You guys can see what's going on. You can see if I gained, you can see if I've lost. It's all there. You ain't got to figure things out. I try to do some jigsaw puzzle to know what's up. So I've only lost three pounds since last week. But there, that is for a myriad of reasons. And I've talked about this in the videos already. But for firstly, I'm starting to weigh myself consistently in the mornings now. Whereas before, I used to weigh myself after my exercise. So I'd normally lose like 
eight pounds between the morning and between the weighing. So because I changed to start doing it in the mornings, I no longer lost the eight pounds. So really, I could probably lose 10 pounds. I could probably get a weigh-in of like 456 tomorrow if I wanted to. I just have to weigh myself after a workout. But I'm not going to do that. It's going to, you know, the weight's going to get to 450 when it gets there. I'm weighing myself consistently in the mornings. So <laughs> you might have seen, you might have noticed in my videos, nobody's, I'm surprised no one's commented this yet, but you might have noticed in my videos, like when I'm saying to Siri, what's today's day? I'm like, I sound like I'm half dead. And that's because I am. I just, I literally wake up. First thing I do is go and weigh myself. And that's what it's going to be from now on. So whether I gain, whether I lose, doesn't matter. The most important thing is being consistent with the effort I put in. And you guys, Jay Smith says, low. See, you guys, I know you can see it, but nobody said nothing. But that's facts. <laughs> First thing in the morning, I'm like making videos. And it's not exactly fun. It's the last thing I want to do when I wake up. But I do it because I'm here to serve. And this channel serves a purpose. It's going to help a lot of people. So I do what I got to do. So yeah, I'm, I could easily lose 10 pounds in the next way in, but we'll wait till we get there. I'm gonna keep weighing myself in the morning. So that's why I've only lost three pounds since last week, despite putting in a crazy amount of effort. Secondly, I'm also making sure that I'm staying as hydrated as possible. Quite honestly, in the past, I didn't always hydrate myself as much as I need to, because I was like thinking, I just want a really good way in the next day. Now I'm like, screw that. I'm doing weights every time I'm exercising. I'm doing heavy weights, going for personal best all the time, lifting as much as I'm, as possible. Like you guys see my bench press numbers, you see my squat numbers, deadlift numbers. So for me, it's important to stay fully hydrated and not mess around with that stuff because I believe, or my understanding is that when you're lifting weights and you're not properly hydrated, you're more at risk of injury because you need Fluids in your muscles, that's how it works. That's how your body functions, is on the fluids and the liquids, the water. So if I'm not fully hydrated, that can be a risk of injury. And I, I don't want to get injured, not anytime soon anyway. So that's another reason why I've only lost three pounds, because I'm maxing out my water intake. And when I lose the weight is when I'm going to lose the weight. I'm, there's going to be no manipulation of any type of skills to try to get a good number. I'm just going to focus on being consistent with what I do and not on what I do with the water and stuff like that. So I could probably lose 15 pounds tomorrow, but I, I'll lose it when I lose it. Don't worry about it. It's going to happen. Daniel says, <clears throat> Daniel says, have you thought about using resistance bands, Jamal? Uh, I actually have some resistance bands just in the, in the room next door. <clears throat> I don't really like them too much. I think I can get more of more production and more value out of using weights. Mm, to be honest with you, but resistance bands are cool. They're just not really something that I'm, they don't, don't really work for me. I'm trying to get bigger. I'm trying to put on some muscle. I'm trying to really, really, really contract these muscles. So I think the best thing for me to do is weight training. So yeah, resistance bands are cool. Just doesn't fit my particular program. And I do have them. Maybe I'll use them at some point, just not now. Hope that helps. So yeah, putting in work in the gym, you guys have seen the effort. I hope you guys appreciate it because <laughs> I'm sure you can understand bringing a big ass tripod and camera in the gym is not all that fun to do. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people thinking, well, what is this guy doing? Because it's not really the type of gym where you do that sort of thing. It's not like a bodybuilder's gym where they have like <laughs> people who are always on Instagram and taking videos and stuff. This is a very low key fitness type of gym. If you guys are in the UK, you, you already recognize it. It's Pure Gym. They've got Pure Gyms, hundreds of Pure Gyms around across the UK. And this is just the one I use. It's a, it's a chain, a branch of them. It's not really the type of gym where you film and create content. But I do it and I'm going to keep doing it until, uh, until they tell me off. <laughs> Habitual says, OMG, congratulations, Jamal. You inspire me. Thank you so much, Habitual Line Stepper. I think that's a Charlie Murphy quote, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I appreciate that. I'm gonna keep doing my part, man. I'm just gonna keep doing me, but I'm glad that you get value out of my content. B Square says, gotta run. Best to you all, love. B Square, you take care now. Have a great week. All the best, and hopefully catch up with you next time. You take care.
Mo Alpha says, you look great. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. It. I'm getting a lot of people saying that today, actually. It's quite surprising. People keep saying I'm looking more chiseled, more lean. And I think so, too. I was noticing that today. So I guess it must be true. So, guys, that's that's how you know. That's how you know when a weight loss journey is real, man. It doesn't matter what the scale says. Like Sometimes the weight goes up. Sometimes it goes down. But I show my full body and transparency every single day so you can literally see with your own eyes. I don't even need to, to weigh myself on the scales, to be honest with you. Like, there's other people who've done weight loss journeys who don't really weigh themselves on the scales. And I, I, and they never needed to. Like, no one, no one ever questioned them because they show their full body and they show, like, updates on perhaps their mobility or, or different things. So you can, see the, you can see the improvement and you can see the process. So the weight is not even that important. The most important part is how you look, or the most transparent way of doing it is how you look and how you present yourself. Beef Patty says, advice to anyone afraid to start. Nobody is judging you, just start now. 100% man. I actually made a video about that for the members area, for the, for the people who are members of the channel. I made a video about people being judged and being conscious about going to the gym about how people feel and that they might be looked at and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go too deep into that right now because I made an exclusive video about that. So if you feel like becoming a member, you can check that out. But the truth is, <laughs> nobody's watching you. Trust me. The, the people that are getting watched in the gym, take it from me, from my experience, there's people that are getting watched in the gym all the time. And it's not the people who are out of shape. It's the people who are in amazing shape. Thus, they're getting all the attention. I do it myself, like the people who are, the guys who are in physical, really good shape, I'm trying to see what they're doing and trying to pick up tips from them. And the girls who look like they're Instagram models, let's be honest, gentlemen, they're the ones that are getting a lot of the stares. <laughs> so unless you're one of those people, trust me, you ain't gonna worry about it. But I made a much longer, more in-depth video about that, so feel free to become a member and check that out. <laughs> Dale says, muscles are just camouflaged. <laughs> I like that. Indeed, they are. What you're doing says, you have such a positive and motivating channel, Jamal. Your actions speak louder than words. You said that in bold. You are a doer who is getting the job done, getting your health back. Proud of you. Congrats on 466. <laughs> Drop a bomb. Let's go. Thank you so much. What are you doing? You need to change your name, man. That, that name is doing the most. What are you doing with your life? That name is too much. Give me, a, give me an acronym or something, man. <laughs> do something but yeah thank you so much for the kind words and support it means a lot and i'm gonna keep doing my part do you guys believe yet do you guys believe in me yet do you think i'm gonna make it let me know what you think because i know a lot of you guys have come from other weight loss channels and have been let down many many times in the past but do you believe can you feel it can you feel the energy can you feel this movement do you think i'm gonna make it tonight 195 yet or do you think uh, he's just going to quit at some point and fall off like, like he did in the past and like everybody else done does. Do you believe? Can you feel? <laughs> you guys need to start believing in me, man, honestly. By the way, that's a good segue to mention that, uh, and I spoke about this in what's going to be tomorrow's video, but and I spoke about this last week, but from literally tomorrow or today onwards, I have a very, very, very busy schedule in real life. And for that reason, I won't be able to do another long video for quite some time. For literally the next week onwards until Saturday night, I'm going to be on a training course for my real life work. And it's literally going to take all day. Like the course is 11 hours every day. <sighs> and as soon as I saw that, I'm like, what? why is this so long, man? Why you got to take up my whole day? So because it's so long, I'm not going to have time to film content and edit content. I'm barely going to have time to get a full a full workout in, but I'm still going to try to get my workouts in as much as possible. Just depends on how tired I am, how exhausting the course is, and how much it takes out of me. But I do my best to get a full training session in, but I will not have time to film it as well as edit it. So I will try to at least show up every day and show my weight every day, even if that just means a 20-second clip with zero editing and zero commentary voiceovers and not even a thumbnail. If I just have to upload a quick clip, that's what I'll do. But I will at least try to show up every day for the next week. But just to give you a heads up for those watching on this live stream and in a replay, don't expect no long videos over the next week because your boy is busy. 
it's just the nature of real life. Sometimes these, sometimes these things happen. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So there's going to be times where I've got other things going on, and this is one of those times. So unfortunately, there's not much I can do about it, but I've got stuff going on, but I still try to show up. All right, let's read some of these comments, man. Uh, Svetlana, Svetlana Gorka, welcome to the channel, welcome to the stream. Svetlana says, what are your thoughts on measuring the true body weight and ignore the fluff that is generated when we consume large volumes of water? I feel that times water makes me gain more than junk food. Yeah, I spoke about this two weeks ago, and it's a good question, but... There is literally something you can buy, and they sell them on Amazon, they sell them everywhere. Look it up. It's called a smart scale. Make sure you get a proper one. A smart scale, literally, you step on the scale, and I think it sends like a small, very small electric shock through your body. Don't be scared by that. It's like the tiniest shock in the world. You won't even feel it. Even babies could step on it, apparently. Don't call me on that and kill your baby. Oh, shouldn't have said that. But yeah, apparently it sends a small electric shock through your body and uh, it then measures, it's then able to measure the density of your muscles and your fat and the amount of water. So it just picks up signals based on the density of the different parts of your body and it can give you feedback on how much of that is muscle, how much is fat and how much is water. And it gives you that information back and sends the information to your phone. So if you're having issues with water weight, just get a smart scale, man. You won't have no issues anymore because it will tell you if you've gained water or if you've gained fat or if you gained muscle. It gives you much more precise information. So all of that water weight worries goes out the window. The only reason I haven't started using a smart scale yet, even though I have two of them, is because the ones that I have seen only go up to 400 pounds. And your boy is not 400 pounds yet. But I will be, and as soon as I'm able to use my smart skill, I will start using my smart skill and give you a comprehensive and in-depth review of what they're like and if it's going to be useful and if they're actually accurate. Like, I might just do a little couple tests and, like, do weigh myself and then intentionally drink, like, four pounds of water, weigh myself again and see if it's going to lie to me, see if it's going to tell me I gained fat or muscle or if it was water. So that's all stuff that you can look forward to in the future. But yeah, Rochelle, look it up. I was just talking about it. Look it up, smart scale. You can get them on Amazon. And as I was saying, it gives you information about how much of your weight is water, how much is muscle, and how much is fat. So if you're a person who's trying to lose weight or trying to gain weight and you are unsure or, or you get discouraged by the weight because you, you think it's water weight and stuff like that, get a smart scale. You won't have that issue anymore because it will tell you if you've gained muscle or if you've gained water or fat. If that doesn't make sense, let me know. I'll try to explain it again in a different way. But I think it's pretty clear. Smart skills are great. What up, Katrina? What up, Katrina? Welcome to the stream. One of my loyal supporters. The best baker in the world. That's an inside joke. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, let's see. Mo Alpha says, are you doing the dry fasting? How often do you do dry fasting? No, I did dry fasting one time at the start of the weight loss journey for seven days-ish. And that's the only time I did a dry fast. Haven't done it again. And I don't plan on, I probably won't do another one, at least nowhere near anytime soon, because my current program is, I'm very focused on weight training now. I'm in the gym frequently, as you can see, putting in those reps. And there ain't no way I'm going to be working out in the gym dry fasted. It's very, very dangerous in my opinion. And I want my muscles to stay as hydrated as possible. So I'm literally doing... The exact opposite of dry fasting, I'm drinking as much water and as much electrolytes as my body can hold because I think it makes it much less, much there's a much less risk of being injured and I don't want to do that because I'm lifting heavy weights. So, yeah, I mean, dry fasting is definitely effective. There's more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. So if that's the approach that you want to take, that can work too. But right now, I'm focused on lifting weights. That doesn't mean that dry fasting doesn't, isn't going to work for you. So you, you can decide what you want to do, man. I've already done that stage. I'm on to weights now. All right. What else you guys saying? Um, everyone's saying you're going to make it. Appreciate you guys, man. Appreciate the support and belief. Beef Patty says, we are just avatars. We can achieve anything we want and change anything we want. Damn straight. 
I want to make sure. Let's see. Red Red Blue says, How long are you staying at the gym, Jamal? Thanks. <laughs> long. <laughs> I'm staying a long time. I, typically, I stay, or, so, or at least lately, typically, I've been staying between two and a half to three hours at the gym. The, th the thing is, the way I do it is that I don't look at the time. I don't focus on the time because I, I have a job where I set my own hours. So I don't have to be out the gym at a certain time. I don't have to like go to work at nine o'clock and stuff like that. I set my own hours so I can leave whenever I want. I can show up whenever I want. So I don't focus on how long I go to the gym. Like I don't have to think in my mind, I've only got an hour today or I've only got an hour and a half today and I gotta go. I just go and stay until I've burnt the amount of calories that I decide I wanna burn. So normally I decide that I wanna burn 3000 calories when I'm at the gym. I know that sounds like a lot, but I'm 466 pounds. Unless you're 466 pounds, you probably won't be able to relate, but that's a reasonable number for me. So I decide I wanna burn 3000 calories today. So as soon as I show up to the gym, I check my, my fitness watch here, my Fitbit, and it tells me, it literally says, like it tells you me right now, it said, right now it says I've burned 333 calories and it's 1.30 a.m. So that's in the last hour and a half. So as soon as I arrive at the gym, I check my watch. It's, let's say it said 333. I decide, okay, I want to burn 3,000 calories. So I need to go up to 3333 and that will be my set point for when I decide I'm done. So instead of the time, I look at the amount of calories burned. Well, as soon as it, as soon as it says free 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 free, I'm done. So that's what I look forward to. So I basically lift up, lift my weights, do my weight training, pretty much until I feel like I'm about to pass out. <laughs> for the most part, not that, not to that degree, but until I'm clapped basically. And once I'm done, done as much weights as I can, it might say I've burned two thousand calories, for example, or eighteen hundred calories. Then I'm like, okay, I can't do any more weights. Now I'm gonna do my cardio. And I do my cardio basically until I've hit my, my calorie goal. So if it, if I had already burnt 2,000, then I'll decide I'm gonna do 1,000 calories of cardio. And I'll just rotate between different cardio machines. I usually try to do one set on legs. So it could be like the exercise bike. As soon as my legs are tired, then I'll start to do a, a, a machine which focuses on my arms and shoulders, like the ski machine. I do that for about five minutes and then I might go and do some work on the treadmill, do that for as long as possible. And then that will burn out my legs again. So I'll go back to the ski machine, do my arms and I'll just rotate it like that until I hit my calorie goal and burn the amount of calories that I decide that I want to burn. And then once I'm done that, I am out of there. And then I've got to walk home, which is actually the worst part of it, to be honest with you, because I've got like a 20 minute walk to get back home. And I'm literally walking like I'm an old granddad, like I'm 80 years old. No offense to the 80 year old granddads out there, because I know there's some real fit ones. But in <laughs> just speaking in general terms, I'm walking home like an old man, and I'll probably look really goofy. But that's just that's just the truth. So the walk home is the hardest part, particularly on legs leg days, man. So, but it is what it is. I get I get like an extra 500, 600 calories just walking home. So that's that. Jay Smith says, do you use the sauna? No, I don't. There's not There's not a sauna in that particular gym that I'm going to. I haven't used the sauna since last year or the year before. But I have. A, there's a sauna in another gym which is nearby. Um, I just have, I haven't signed up to that one yet, but maybe I'll use the sauna at some point. I know it's good for recovery as well, so I probably should, to be honest. Alexandria, hello Ale Alexandria. I haven't seen your name pop up before, I don't think, so welcome to the stream says, congrats on the middle 460s, time to get to 450s. You damn straight, man. Let's keep pushing. We're going to get it. Mr. Mondo says, what do you think of walking for weight loss? Good question. I walk 5.5 miles a day, two hours. Do you think it's enough? I think walking is the best, best strategy for weight loss in general terms. Because, well, unless you've got a disability, everybody can walk. And it doesn't really matter what your stage of fitness is at. You just determine the amount of walking that is right for you, depending on your level of fitness and what you can do. So, you know, if you're a 600 pound person and you, and you can only walk five minutes, then just walk for five minutes. But I, get, I tell you what, you'll bust a sweat, you'll burn a lot of calories in those five minutes at that weight. 
And if you're a £300 person, still you can walk as much as you can. You, you can do your 10,000 steps or however, however much you want to do. Go for those walks, man. And even better than a walk, or quite honestly, guys, the treadmill. Guys, I used to hate the treadmill until like this month or last month. I used to... I used to damn near fear the treadmill because I just like that's just it's just so boring. It looks so boring, man, and, and uninteresting. But the treadmill is fantastic. I've got news for you. The treadmill is great because you can change the elevation on most of them, which I didn't even really pay attention to. But you can change the elevation and it's consistent. So I recommend the treadmill, which is even better than walking, in my opinion, because you can change the elevation and get a much better workout. So whoever asked that question, I think it was Mondo, I recommend get going to the gym, getting on the treadmill, putting it on a steady pace, get a steady state cardio going, and then put some elevation up there to make it even harder and go for as long as you can. Best baker in the world with the $20 super chat. Thank you so much. The first super chat of the, of the evening. <laughs> Another inside joke. Katrina says for tomatoes laugh emoji. We got I got a lot of inside jokes. You, you you guys you guys don't know this, but I have, I know most of the regulars on this channel, and we've got like inside jokes between us, like between certain people. So me and Katrina got this this inside joke going. So <laughs> you guys won't get the joke, and you don't need to know. But best baker says for tomatoes and gives a twenty dollar super chat. So thank you so much, Katrina. Show some love in the chat, in the chat, people, for the uh, super chat, because that helps the growth of the channel, and so it, it, it helps everybody. It helps me, and because it helps me, it means that I can help you. So show some love to Katrina. Anytime there's a super chat, or anytime anyone becomes a member, I would really appreciate if you guys show some love to that person, because money is not easy to come by nowadays. Thank you. X Hunt says, "I have an old tread climber in my apartment that I use. You see, you already know." Use those treadmills, man, especially if they've got incline on them. It's a lot better than walking, in my opinion. You can get a much better workout. And another thing I like about the machine is that when you're walking outside, the floor is normally, or well, depends where you live, but the floor is often uneven. So it just feels weird and can, it can sometimes mess up your ankles a little bit. You've got uneven surfaces, potholes and whatnot, just little crevices. The treadmill is always the same. It's always flat, so it's much easier. And if, if you do, if you need to, you can hold on to the sides so you don't have any issues. But use those treadmills, man. They're fantastic. Even better than a cross trainer, in my opinion, which I, I never used to believe, but I definitely do at this point. I've seen a lot of new names pop up on the stream, so welcome, everybody. If this is your first time watching one of my streams, I am Jamal, and welcome to the stream. I'm just here to talk about my weight loss journey and how it's gone so far. I'm down to 466 pounds. I lost nine inches on my waist since the start, and we're going all the way to 195. Ain't nothing stopping us. If you like this big, beautiful merch right here, you can get yours at getrightgang.com. If you haven't seen it, chuck getrightgang.com in your browser right now. You don't need to buy anything. Just check it out. Check out getrightgang.com. I've got some wonderful merch. If you want some gym t-shirts or some gym vests, I've got you. Or if you want a nice, cozy hoodie, you can grab yours too. Or consider becoming a channel member because I've got exclusive content just for members. So, uh, Yellow says smash the like button as well. Most definitely. we got 30 people watching and 13 likes. That is crazy, guys. There should be at least 30 likes. So please do smash the like button so that more people do get notified about this stream. And that we can just hit and reach more people out there and help and grow more consistently. So hit the like button, folks. Please do. SB says, big ups, Jamal. Big up yourself, my G. You from the UK as well? That's a UK slang right there. So big ups, my G, SB. Mr. Model says, do you drink black coffee? I don't really like coffee, to be honest. So that's a no from me. But I hear it's pretty good. I hear it's good for my metabolism as well. I have nothing against it. It's just a personal preference. I don't really like the taste. SB says, Jamaica, bit, yeah, but living in the UK. Had a feeling, had a feeling. Rochelle says, during the weekends, mm, I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, Chase Smith says, choo-choo. I feel like I need to make a choo-choo emoji. Let me know. Shall I make a choo-choo emoji, Smith? Kimberly says, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Kimberly. I really appreciate the support, everyone. It means a lot. Another name I haven't seen before, Kimberly. So welcome to the stream. 
What else? Mm. Juliet says, hi, Jamal. I have to agree with the walking. Great for overall health. 100% man. Everybody can do it. Unless you've got a disability, then everybody can walk and you just do as much as you can. But the treadmill is really fantastic. If you're if you're nervous about going to the gym, just go and hit the treadmill, man. You probably see all the time that everybody's using the treadmill for a good reason. It's really effective. And you can increase the intensity, you can increase the speed, you can increase the incline or decline or incline and make it much more difficult. But especially if you double it up and get you a, a Fitbit or a calorie watch, you can really see what's going on and see how many calories you're burning. It kind of turns it into a game for me. Like it it kind of turns it into an RPG game where you set yourself a goal and you know you got to get to the end of the level and then you can then you can move on to the next level. Like I don't complete the game until I hit my calorie goal. Even if it's hard and I'm huffing and puffing and I'm feeling like I'm going to pass out, I just keep going. And if it means I've got to slow down or speed up to, uh, to adjust my tempo to get to those targets, then that's what I do. Yellow Moon says, my hoodie and tank arrived. Fits perfect. I'm a lady, 175.57. Yeah, I've got a lot of people commenting on my channel saying they've got their hoodies and their merch and they're loving it. I've not got a bad review yet. So, <clears throat> guys, if you want to, just send me, if you want to, send me an email. <clears throat> it's completely up to you and no pressure. But if you'd like to, send me an email with you wearing your merch and I'll be happy to feature it on a video for you. Show it off to the world. But if you don't want to do that, that's, that's completely fine. But if you do, sh take a picture, send me an email or send me an Instagram message with a picture with you on your merch. Because I know a lot of you have bought merch at this point, so I can happily feature it on a video for you and show you guys just loving the merch as much as I do, which is on getrightgang.com. If you want to grab yours. Giuseppe says, I shared your channel with uncle who is beginning his weight loss journey. Since last week that I shared your channel, you've already transformed his life. Wow, you're doing great things. That's awesome. And thank you so much to everybody for sharing the channel. I really appreciate you guys for doing that. And I'm glad that I'm bringing value to you as well. Juliet with the 1999 donation says, Hi, Jamal. Well done on your journey so far. Looking forward to seeing your progress or seeing new progress. Spelling mistake. Juliet, thank you so, so much for the 20 bucks super chat. Thanks for even staying up this late. I know it's, it's 130 for you as well. Guys, please show some love to the Julie, to Juliet in the chat for the support. One of my loyal, loyal subscribers. I don't think you ever miss a video, Juliet. I know all of you guys, man. Everyone who's a regular, I know all of you. <laughs> Trust me, I, I read every single comment, as you know, and reply to them all. So, Julia, I appreciate the support. I appreciate the super chat. Please show some love to Julia in the chat as well, because money is hard to come by. Thank you for the donations, everyone. You guys are wonderful. Let's see what else we got. Giuseppe says, so happy to see your Percy today. Congrats, my man. Yeah, man. I love Percy's too. It's really exciting, isn't it? <laughs> It's really exciting when you get a Percy. And uh, hopefully I start getting them more consistently now because I, as I said, I'm weighing myself at one particular time of day and I'm making sure my water or my or how much water I take is pretty much maxed out. So I can't like gain a bunch of weight. I can't gain a bunch of water weight. I can gain some water weight, but I can't gain a ton of it because I'm already pretty much maxed out most of the time, like I said earlier. I'm trying to make sure that my water levels are as high as possible because now that I'm lifting weights, I need to make sure that I'm very well hydrated to reduce the chance of injury and to make weight lifting much easier so I get more fluid motions. J Jamaican Ting says, how many hours a day do you work out? I answered that a little bit earlier, but I'm working out about two and a half to three hours a day. I don't focus on the time, I focus on the calorie burn and I aim to hit 3,000 calories, which is a lot, but at my weight, it means that I work out for about three hours and then I'm gone. So that's what I've been doing lately. Uh, it just depends on my schedule. This coming week, I'm going to have a very busy schedule, so I might not be able to hit, hit that. I might not even be able to go gym as much as I want to. It just depends on what's going on. So we'll see. Iron Spider just joined us, says, Ain't no way it said you were starting at 9.19. That is 100% cap, my friend. You are deceived there's no way it said that <laughs> everyone else knows that i start at the same time every single week and i set the schedule so you are late take ownership for it iron spider own it <laughs> jamaican ting says thank you you're welcome my friend 
Giuseppe says, Sprite helps with keeping hydrated. Sprite, interesting. I wish it wasn't so high in calories, though. Although per county average is about 140. That's a lot. Jeez. Pretty manageable, but can creep up on people. So, does if Sprite has electrolytes, then yeah, I guess it would help with hydration. But you just need electrolytes, really. That's the only thing you really need. And you can get that in zero-calorie versions. You can make your own electrolytes at home. Most of you guys know this, but... The ingredients to make your own electrolytes are sodium and potassium. You can get that in salt forms. Himalayan pink salt has a lot of sodium. And you can get pure potassium forms as well. I've got videos about that. Um, somebody asked in one of the comments uh, how to make it more palatable. Because apparently, or not apparently, I know for a fact that sodium and potassium in water taste horrible. <laughs> so apparently you can make it taste a little bit more palatable by adding a small amount of baking soda as well and i think you should add a little bit of a tiny bit of magnesium as well that's another electrolyte ingredient a tiny bit of magnesium but there's probably tons of videos on youtube about how to make your own electrolytes at home but from what i understand you can add your own baking soda to make it a little bit more palatable me personally i just i just can't stand the taste of it for too long as you know, I'm on this weight loss journey for the long haul and there's only so long I can drink salt water. So for the most part, I drink my water with an electrolyte powder, a flavoured electrolyte powder, which does have some, I think it has some sweetener in there. So it's not the cleanest, but it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world like this. I could be doing much worse things than drinking or eating much worse things than that. So it's still a zero calorie, zero carb electrolyte powder and it's much better than... You know, then drinking sugary, sugary drinks. So I think one one way you do it is just to buy an electrolyte powder. There's plenty of them on Amazon, some really good ones, some not so good ones. Some of them focus more on flavor and taste more than substance. So you've got to really check the ingredients list. Um, I would recommend checking the recommended daily amount of potassium and sodium that you need and compare that to the amount of potassium and sodium that the particular powder has on the on the back of it and you can see which ones are good and which ones are not good it's hard for me to recommend one because you most of you guys are in the us or other countries and the powders that they have in where you guys are from are different from the ones that we have so you might have to do a little bit more research on that but yeah i recommend or as an option you can have electrolyte powder instead of making your own because uh, it makes it taste a lot better Dan Stan says, just waking up to a vid from you makes my whole day. Wow, that's really kind. Thanks, Jamo. And I don't remember if you said anything about sparkling water, but do you like it? Hey, welcome to the stream, Dan. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. Dan, I think you are I think you might be one of the most loyal supporters I have, have. I think Dan's been here from like 200 subscribers and comments on every single video. And there's always one of the first people to comment as well. So Dan, you're an all-time great great member of the get right gang and as for your question i love sparkling water and that's why i don't drink it too much to be honest with you i know that's weird but bear with me <laughs> understand what i'm saying i try not to have stuff which i like too much because then i'm going to end up overdoing it so i know that if i just keep drinking sparkling on flavored water i'm just going to keep drinking it i'm just going to be like a big balloon so <laughs> i don't tend to drink it too much but i do like it and i've got a, a soda a source it called soda stream as well which where i can make my own sparkling water using co2 canisters that's something you can look up as well if you like sparkling water you can get something called a soda stream that's just one particular brand what you can get so if you if you don't like the taste of water maybe you might like sparkling water maybe you might like sparkling water with electrolyte powders it just depends so there's just many different options on how you can do things but hey welcome dan what else y'all talking about Let's see. Mm. Yeah, you guys just talking about electrolytes and stuff. Yeah, you guys know my take on electrolytes. I just, I prefer the powdered form. And if I do feel like I'm low on electrolytes as well, I also, as you guys have seen, I am, I'm now having uh, sauerkraut and or pickles. Pickles are really good too. Sauerkraut and pickles is really good because it's super high in salt. If, you're, if you've ever tasted them, you already know. I ain't got to tell you that. It's super salty and vegetables in general just have a decent amount of potassium in there. 
So consider a jar of pickles or a jar of sauerkraut to get some electrolytes going. If you're having a hard time during a fast with your electrolyte, electrolyte water, salt water basically, you can have pickles or sauerkraut, which is make sure though, be careful with the ones you get because there's some which have sugar in them and that wrecks up the carbs and that can easily break a fast. So not everything is equal, man. You gotta be careful. Like I said earlier, Sometimes manufacturers focus more on the taste uh, rather than the substance itself. So you really got to check those ingredients. If you do buy pickles or sauerkraut, check that they don't have added sugar in there and check the carb count. Some of them might have just two grams of carbs, whereas some might have 10 or 11, 12 grams of carbs. Make sure you get a good one, which isn't going to, which isn't going to break your fast or add on extra calories that you don't need. Feel me? <laughs> Dan says, juice is good, but it can have a lot of sugar, like Mountain Dew, I believe. Yeah, I mean, juice is good for what? I don't, I don't really think juice is good for anything, really, except for taste. You're better off making your own juice, fresh juice, because most of those juices, they add extra preservatives and stuff. And they're just extra high in calories. And if you're trying to lose weight, I don't think you really need that anyway. You don't need a whole bunch of juice. It's just extra calories for no reason. You'd rather eat your calories rather than drink them. Mm. So any questions about my weight loss journey? Anything, any questions about the gym stuff? Uh, I can't stay on too long today because as I said, I've got a busy week. I've got to be up early this morning and I might actually go to the gym after this stream. I'm either going to go to the gym after this stream or I'm going to go to sleep and try to get a few hours sleep. But either way, I've got to do something. So I can't stay too, too long today, guys, unfortunately. But uh, next week, I'll try and make up for it. So if you, have, if you haven't heard already, I've got a really, really busy schedule Nick, this week coming up. So I'm not going to be able to make any long videos literally until Sunday or Monday. So that's, I know that's unfortunate, but there's not much I can do. I've got a lot going on this week. Um, so if I, if, I, if I have to, I'm just going to upload 20-second videos literally just a clip of my weight and that will be it there might not be any editing no audio and <laughs> i might not even be able to do a thumbnail it just depends on how busy i am and how much free time I, ha I have so if if i can sneak off and do some editing i might do that but i just don't know how things are gonna go so i'll do the best that i can Germ german jamaican thing says keep up the good work i will do Dan Sten says, you're honestly crystal clear about your weight loss journey. <laughs> I appreciate that. I must be because you guys never really have questions. Like there's only ever a couple of questions in these streams, which I guess is a good thing. It means that I'm pretty clear on what's going on. So that's really cool. Uh, Laura says, get some sleep. Yeah, I mean, that's the easy solution. That's the easy variable. You guys know I don't always or I don't often take the easiest option. <laughs> I like to pick the one which gets the most which gets the most results, even if it means doing hard things. So we'll see. As soon as this stream ends, I'll see how I feel. But yeah, either way, I'm, I'm going to have to do something because i got to be up. i got to go somewhere at 8 a.m. So I've got a couple of hours. So I'm either going to sleep or I'm going to go gym. Either way, it's going to be productive. What else? Uh, yeah, Jama Jamaican Ting says, lots of creators do smoke and mirrors on their weight loss journey, on their weight loss. True, very true, very true. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Laura, I hear you, I hear you. You guys come at sounding like a caring mother right now. But I always go gym at this time anyway, I always go super early, so... I'll see how I feel. I can't say if I will or not. <laughs> I know I want to, but I don't know if I will be able to. But um, we'll see. Kimberly says, I'm sleepy and old. Good night, Jamal. <laughs> Good night, Kimberly. Thank you so much for joining the stream today. I appreciate you supporting. And you sleep well. Good night and see you next time. Mr. Mondo says, I'm going to start weighing myself daily as of tomorrow. Time to push it up a gear. Let's go. You, are you going to create a channel, Mr. Mondo? That's awesome, man. Just inspired someone to get on their own weight loss journey. I, honestly, I think daily weigh-ins is the way to do it. 
But you have to be serious about it though. Like you, you have to have some sort of pride and a sense of shame if, if you mess up. Like if you just weigh yourself daily and you don't care if you gain weight, then it means nothing. You know, what's the point? If you have a sense of pride and a bit of an ego, then and you weigh yourself daily and you and if you put it out on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, when you gain that weight, man, you're gonna you're gonna feel something, man. You're gonna feel a little bit let down in yourself. And you need that. You need that sense of accountability. You need that pressure. Because that's what that's that's what helps me anyway. That's what keeps me going. Like in the past I've done weight loss journeys and I weighed myself every week. I've said this many times, but when I've done weight loss journeys before, I used to weigh myself on a live stream once a week. And the problem with that is I could cheat for like two, three days if I wanted to and still lose weight by the, by the next week because I lose weight so quickly. Whereas when I weigh myself every day, it's damn near impossible to do that, or at least very difficult anyway. So I have to be consistent and you guys can see that's why I, sh I don't just weigh myself as well. I show my full body. So that if I did cheat, you just see, you'll see my belly bulging out, you'll see my face blow up, and you, it'll be very transparent and easy to tell that I'm lying. Whereas this way, it, it makes it very difficult for me to do that, and it it, it it would take so much mental energy and effort for me to even fake fake it anyway that it's not even worth it. So, if I gain weight, I show the weight gain. If I lose weight, I show the, the weight loss. If it takes me a week to get another Percy, it takes me another week. But the most important part is that I'm get on a downward trend, slowly but surely getting towards that weight loss goal. And we're going to go all the way. SB says, vitamin C helps with collagen production. Kiwi full, full and uh, is, an anti is keto friendly. Yeah, vitamin C is good for collagen. And that's why I used to eat a lot of spinach for the, exactly that. So yeah, good point, SB. Dan says it's weird. Also, is it weird that I like raw celery? No, raw celery is perfectly normal, man. I think that goes very good with uh, hummus as well, apparently. But yeah, raw celery is normal. I don't know why you'd like that. <laughs> it's not weird, but obviously your taste is, everyone's taste is different. I don't like the taste of it, but it's not unnatural to have raw celery. Don Gray says, have you had to buy new clothes yet? Your before and after picture differences are becoming very noticeable. Thank you, Don. Thank you for joining the stream. No, I haven't had to buy new clothes because fortunately I've been slimmer as an adult in the past. So I already have some clothes for when I was slimmer that I still have. They're a little bit more worn out or they're quite they're very worn out. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a little bit more raggedy. <laughs> but the point is that they fit. So luckily I don't have to buy new clothes yet. However, in the future, when I do get closer to those 200 pound marks, or under the 300 pound mark, I don't have any clothes that are gonna fit at that point because I've never been below 266 or 267 as an adult. So when I get to around 280, 250, 220, 195, I might have to buy new clothes multiple times, unfortunately, and that's gonna cost a lot of money. So I will have to get there, but for now I have some old clothes which fit and I'm able to wear, but it will be a problem for the future, so. Super chats are on, guys. Feel free to support the channel, support your boy, so that I can help you guys right back. Diamonds Life says, hello, Jamal. Congratulations. Today is day one of our A Healthy Alternative Water Fast with Chris James. That is awesome. I haven't seen that content in a while, but yeah, that's awesome. Chris James is, is the homie. I think we're going to do some more content. I'm saying too much. You didn't hear that. But yeah, thank you for joining the stream, Diamond. Rochelle says, Jamal, at what body weight will you start buying new clothes, new clothing? Under 300 pounds, I'm going to, yeah, under, when I get under 300 pounds, I'm going to buy new clothes. Maybe, maybe I'll have to buy a few bits and bobs before then, but nothing crazy. Like, I still have a decent amount of clothes from when I used to be slimmer. But when I get under 300, I'm going to have to literally replace everything, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> So I'm probably just going to be buying cheap t-shirts and cheap jogging pants until I get to a stable weight. I'm not going to buy no fancy Jordans or nothing or no Versace, <laughs> even though I don't buy Versace. But you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on clothes until I'm at a stable weight, which won't be anytime soon. So that's a problem for the future, but it's a good problem to have, right? It means I'll be healthy. 
Hello, Jamal. Big love from Portugal, Portugal again. I'm here since day one. Keep going and get strong. Awesome. I, I do remember your name, actually. Segus Mondo, I remember your name. You have been a lower support from the start. So, yeah, thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate you and the kind words. <laughs> Yellow says, when you get there, you should do a shopping haul. Yeah, I could do that. If you guys want to see a shopping haul, I could do that. Do you guys want to see that? Type one in the chat if you want to see a shopping haul. Me, personally, that's not the type of content I like to consume. But if that's something for the people, if you guys want to see that, I am here to serve. Just your on average sit random says, I like to snack on lettuce myself. I love salad, man. Who likes salad here, man? I love the taste of salad. And that's one of the reasons why I don't think I could do carnival for any long period of time. Because that means I don't get to eat salad or fruit salad. And I just, I just can't do that. And speaking of carnival, man, let me talk about carnival for a minute. Because there's this people who keep saying, or there's channels that say vegetables are trying to kill you. Saying extreme stuff like that. Vegetables are trying to kill you. Bro, let, let's, let's keep it 100, man. You can't eat a salad and, and say that, that a salad is trying to kill you. Nothing makes you feel more healthy and nothing tastes fresher. Tell me one thing that feels fresher and more healthy than a salad. Like, you can just use common sense, man. Stop listening to these people trying to scare you and just trying to get views, man. Talking about vegetables are trying to kill you. You can't eat a salad and tell me that, that that doesn't make you feel fresh and good inside. It's like the freshest thing you can eat. Nothing makes you feel like a salad does. Nothing, in my opinion. So that's absolute nonsense. And that's why I probably can't do carnivore because then I don't get to have delicious, flavorful, nutritious foods like salads. Mr. Mondo says, salad is banging. And the volume is crazy for the full bag. Get me. You can eat so much of it. And it just tastes so fresh, man. So crunchy and juicy. So all that vegetables are trying to kill you. Let's be honest, guys. It, you, I, I know a little bit more about YouTube than most people. I know a little bit more about marketing and, and creating content. So the truth is that people say stuff like that because they want views. And it makes it puts their name out there. A little bit of a shock value. It's more memorable, it's more catchy. Vegetables are trying to kill you. No, they're not. You can't eat a salad and say that thing tried to kill me. Nothing makes you feel better than a salad. Nothing, in my opinion. Let's keep it a buck. So I don't think I could do carnival. I, I do like keto, though. I still keep the calories low. Sorry, I still keep the carbs low. But I ain't cutting out vegetables altogether because that means I don't get to eat salad. And that ain't happening. <laughs> Garden says, most carnivals are keto wars. 100% true, man. 100% true. It's very hard to not eat any vegetables at all or any fruit at all. And who wants to, who wants to do that? Like, why would you not want a salad? Who doesn't? Why would you not want a salad? Like, it's so fresh. Yeah, you want to eat healthy. Eat a salad, man. There ain't nothing healthier than that. Nonsense, bruv. Laura says, steak makes me feel better than a salad. I... I that's the, that's the only thing I would say is comparable. You could, you could toss up either one, salad or a steak, or both, a steak salad or a salad with steak. <laughs> but you can't say a salad makes you feel bad. You can't say a salad, you can't eat a salad and tell me that thing was trying to kill me. It doesn't make you feel that. Like when you eat junk food, like when you eat chocolate or you eat crisps or you eat fizzy drinks or, or even fast food, like oily, greasy food, you know after you've ate that, you know that that was bad. You just feel it. You get the good feeling when you're eating it. Like, you get the, the cravings for it. But, like, not long after you eat fast food. This is just my opinion. You guys tell me if you agree or not. Maybe you guys disagree. But when I'm craving junk food, I'm, like, super keen. But not long after I've ate it, I'm like, why did I eat that? I feel terrible. I feel rubbish inside. You ain't going to get that from a salad. <laughs> you're just not. You eat your salad, it feels fresh. After you've ate the salad, it still feels fresh. So all the people who say vegetables are trying to kill you, get out of here, man. They're just trying to sell you their products. Sonny Blah Blah says I've eaten three Easter eggs. Damn! <laughs> in, in one day or over a period of time? <laughs> I haven't had an Easter egg in years, to be honest. I'm not really, I'm not really a chocolate guy, personally. So that I'm not, I don't really have a, an issue with all the Easter eggs in the shops, but... How many, you guys tell me, how many Easter eggs have you ate? Have you ate? Everybody comment, how many Easter eggs have you guys ate in the last, I don't know, couple months? 
If it's zero, comment zero. What's up, Cheryl? Welcome to the stream, Cheryl. You're late. Very, 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 very late. Very, very, very late. But you're here. So welcome to the stream, Cheryl. One of my lower supporters as well. Mondo says zero. Daniel, zero. Smith, zero. Dale, zero. Giuseppe says 50. Damn. Yellow Moon, zero. Geraldine, zero. Katrina says, I ate four Cadbury eggs yesterday. So I guess that's probably like equivalent to one. Sonny Barbara said, no, none today because they were half price. No today because they were half price. Laura says, zero. Yeah, man, we don't, we don't eat them things right there, man. We're the Get Rat Gang. We don't eat them things. Diamond says, zero, but I ate a couple of Reese's eggs. Okay, okay. <laughs> At least we're honest. Yeah, I don't really like Easter eggs personally. Even when I was a kid, I didn't like them that much. It's just, it's just something you, it just kind of something that you just do because it's Easter and that's the only time you get them. But I'm not really crazy of them. Just your on average says zero, but I had ice cream. Could have became a channel member. Just saying. Dan Stan says personal info. I know what that means. Sonny Bubbler says, I mean, I eat them all today in one go. Damn, you had three Easter eggs today. <laughs> what? Do you know how much nutrition there was in that? None. Cheryl says, hey there, Yellow. What's up, everybody? Well, thank you, Mods, for joining, man. Thank you to the Mods. I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. It makes it so much easier for me. It allows me to just focus on the presenting and giving out information, asking questions. And so I really appreciate you guys. Right, been on for one hour. I, <laughs> I've got hardly any questions today. You guys just seem to like hanging out. <laughs> but as I said, I've got a real busy schedule this week, so I can't really stay on too much longer. <laughs> Mr. Mondo, quote, and Eddie Abu. Eddie Abu is a really good influencer, in my opinion. Anywho, guys, if there's no more questions, uh, I'm going to head off in a bit. Thank you so much to everybody for the donations. Really, really appreciate that. All of the support, whether you donate or not, you guys are amazing. I'm going to keep doing my part, guys. I, as I said, I've said it a few times, but I'm not going to be able to make any long videos this week. It might just be literally 20 second, 30 second unedited clips of my weight. So I'm not going to have time for I've got a real busy schedule. But it's just for this week and following that, it should be back to normal routine. So guys... As always, thank you so, so much for the support. I'm going to keep doing my part. I'm going to keep doing my best to inspire and uplift and give information and value. So if you got value from this stream, if you've enjoyed this stream, please do hit the like button on your way out. Type one in the chat below if you've enjoyed the stream and if you've got value from it. Just hit the one if you've got value. Hit the like button as well on your way out. I appreciate every single one of you. I'm going to be back next week as usual. If there's any changes, if there's anything that I have to do differently, I'll let you know in the community tab. But guys, thank you so, so much for the support. Get right, gang. We're on our way to greatness. I'm going to keep doing my part and you guys keep doing your part too. So I'll see you guys next week. I'll do my best to upload every single day if I can. But if not, you guys know why. Thank you so much once again. I'll be back soon. Let's keep pushing. And of course, let's get right. Yeah!